Okay, right now I'm going to explain you the Instance Painter, which you can find over here, this button. We use this uh, function mostly to paint terrain, um, paint terrain, vegetation, grass and bushes. But you can use it for any purpose. So first thing we need to do is to add some meshes to this panel here. So I'll open the Resource Manager again, which is already opened. And I'll look for Items, Nature, Vegetation Paint. In here you can find all the assets we use for the for the Instance Painter, but we only need to apply it the mesh. So we can filter the alphabetically. So I'm going to add some Grass Dune. And now you can see that the Grass Dune is added. There are some options for this, so you can swap, swap it with something else. You can erase it, you can um, close the I button, and you can turn the shadows on and off, and these are the destruct models you can use. So I'm going to try to paint some grass. What you do is you select the, the type if you want, so I can add more types. Um, in the material editor. So I add the lavendel. So now I have two materials, like two objects, so I can paint this one with the other button, which is here. So I'll paint some grass. Of course, since we have a fixed camera, the grass is going to be oriented towards the camera. Not all, not doesn't work from all angles. There are some settings you can do to speed up the placement of the instances, which is the flow. Here it is. This is way too much. So what you can do is you can remove certain grass that so it doesn't <coughs> over over uh, heat the processor. We can easily remove it with the right mouse button and paint with the left. You can select both of them and then you can you can paint both of them. Also remove the ones that are too close. You can also change the random rotation but we don't really need that for the grass. But you can use the random scale so it goes from half to 1.5. So now you have different scale variations that too close, I'll put the flow back to something else. See, now you have big and small grass put together. Now you can, this thing is not only used for uh, painting grass, you can actually use it to put some trees as well. So if I go back and I'll try to add a tree, let's say a pine, and add that one, I can paint the trees. So I'll put the flow bigger and then you can you can paint trees with different scales if you want. Or you can add rocks. Or you can add anything if you want to add uh, you know some chairs or something. But it doesn't make any sense of course but you can. You can just use anything. It's easily removed. If you make it big it just removes the trees, or the grass, or the lavender. All the other settings are uh, pretty much uh, simple. Random rotation, you can set the axis of the random rotation. And that would be it.